Welcome to Diplomatic Brief, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. Tonight, we look to the skies, where the familiar story of flight is about to be rewritten. For years the world has watched as the same two giants have shaped the future of air travel but now, a new chapter is beginning to unfold, one that could change the very nature of global aviation. High above the clouds, a profound shift is underway. The balance of power in the skies is no longer as certain as it once was. The world of commercial aviation, long defined by tradition and rivalry, is on the verge of a dramatic transformation. For decades, commercial aviation has been dominated by Boeing and Airbus. These two titans have set the standards, dictated the pace of innovation, and supplied the vast majority of the world's passenger jets. Their competition has fueled progress, but also left little room for others to enter the arena. But now, a new challenger is emerging from the east, China's Comac. Backed by the world's second largest economy, and a government determined to achieve technological self-reliance, Comac is stepping onto the global stage with bold ambitions. Its latest creation, the C929 wide-body jet, is more than just a new plane. It's a symbol of China's ambition to lead in high-tech manufacturing. The C929 represents years of research, international collaboration, and a vision to compete at the highest level of aerospace engineering. The C929 is designed to compete directly with the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350, two of the most advanced and successful jets in the world. With its cutting-edge technology, fuel efficiency, and passenger comfort, Comac hopes to win over airlines and travelers alike. This signals the end of the comfortable two-player game in aviation. The arrival of a serious third contender could reshape the strategies of airlines, manufacturers, and even governments, introducing new dynamics and possibilities to the industry. For airlines, a third major manufacturer means more choice and competition. It could drive down costs, spur innovation, and offer new routes and services to passengers around the globe. The stakes are high, and the world is watching closely, but Comac faces immense challenges, earning global trust, building a worldwide support network, and proving the safety and reliability of its aircraft. Gaining international certification and convincing airlines to take a chance on a newcomer will not be easy. The groundwork was laid by the C919, already flying domestic routes and serving as a testbed for Comac's growing expertise. Each successful flight brings the company one step closer to its global ambitions. Now, with the C929's first commitment secured and the world's attention fixed on its progress, the question remains, can China truly break the Western monopoly in the skies and usher in a new era of global aviation? To truly understand the story behind the C929, we need to journey back and explore the roots of Comac, the company at the heart of China's aviation ambitions. The C929 isn't just a new aircraft, it's the culmination of a vision that began decades ago, driven by a desire for technological independence and global influence. To grasp how far Comac has come, we must look at its origins and the environment that shaped its creation. Officially established in 2008, Comac was born from decades of state-led initiatives and persistent efforts to build a homegrown aerospace industry. The Chinese government recognized early on that mastering commercial aviation was essential for both economic growth and national security. For years, China relied heavily on foreign giants like Boeing and Airbus to meet its growing demand for air travel. This dependence was seen as a strategic vulnerability, prompting leaders to seek self-reliance in the skies. Comac's mission became clear, to design, build, and certify world-class commercial aircraft. This goal was enshrined as a key pillar of the ambitious Made in China 2025 plan, which aimed to transform China into a leader in advanced manufacturing. The government poured billions of dollars into research, developing robust supply chains and nurturing a new generation of aerospace talent. Laboratories buzzed with innovation, and young engineers were encouraged to dream big. The ARJ-21 regional jet marked Comac's first major step. Though it faced many challenges, the project taught invaluable lessons in aircraft design, manufacturing, and the complex process of certification. Today, the ARJ-21 flies with several airlines, including Indonesia's Transnusa, symbolizing China's first successful entry into the international aviation market and proving its growing capabilities. 
Building on these hard-won lessons, Comac set its sights on the lucrative single-aisle market, leading to the development of the C919, a direct competitor to the world's most popular jets. The successful development of the C919 laid the foundation for an even more ambitious project, the C929, a wide-body jet designed to take China's aviation industry to new heights and challenge the global duopoly. The C919's entry into service with China Eastern Airlines in 2023 was a turning point. For the first time, a modern Chinese airliner was flying major routes, challenging Boeing and Airbus. Orders surged from China's big three airlines, providing Comac with a stable foundation. The C919 proved reliable during peak travel, building credibility. Yet, it relies heavily on Western components, especially engines, highlighting China's ongoing quest for self-sufficiency. Despite this, the C919's success forced global rivals to take notice. It's the essential first act in Comac's strategy. The lessons learned are shaping the bold leap to the C929. With the C919 in service, Comac is now focused on mass production. In 2025, Comac announced plans to build 100 jets, a dramatic increase. This ramp-up is fueled by soaring domestic demand and rivals production woes. Billions are being invested to secure parts and expand facilities. The goal, 200 jets per year by 2029, rivaling Boeing and Airbus. Rapid scaling is risky, quality control and supply chain issues loom. But if Comac can deliver at scale, it will cement its place as a global contender. The world's aviation experts are watching closely. With a strong home base, Comac is stepping onto the world stage. In January 2026, China Eastern will operate the C919's first international flight to Hong Kong, a key regulatory test. Southeast Asia is the primary target for expansion, with offices in Singapore and Hong Kong. Indonesia's Transnusa already operates the ARJ-21, providing a reference for the C919. The biggest hurdle international certification from ESA and FAA, a process that will take years. Meanwhile, Comac has secured deals in Brazil and attracted interest from major carriers like Cathay Pacific. Each step builds Comac's global presence and credibility. The strategy is patient and deliberate. All of this lays the groundwork for the C929's global ambitions. As the C919 takes flight, Comac is preparing its next leap, the C929. This wide-body jet aims to challenge the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350 on long-haul routes. Air China's early commitment in 2024 gave the project a crucial boost. Originally a joint venture with Russia, the C929 is now a primarily Chinese effort. The biggest challenge, developing advanced engines and mastering complex systems, Comac is already eyeing a larger C939, signaling even bigger ambitions. The C929's development will test China's technological progress over the next decade. Its success could redefine the global aviation landscape. Comac's rise is shaking the global aviation order. Every C919 or C929 sold is one less for Boeing or Airbus, impacting Western economies. China's domestic market is the grand prize, projected to be the world's largest by 2040. By backing Comac, Beijing aims to capture a huge share of this market and reduce reliance on foreign technology. The political stakes are high, aircraft sales are tools of diplomacy and leverage. Comac offers countries an alternative to Western suppliers, shifting global alliances. For passengers, more competition could mean lower fares and more innovation, but the rise of a new power block could fragment global standards and cooperation. The aviation industry's unity is being tested. The future may be more complex and more competitive than ever. Analysts view Comac's ascent with both admiration and skepticism. For now, Comac's main strength is its protected home market, giving it a unique advantage. But reliance on Western engines and systems remains a major vulnerability. Until China develops its own certified engines, true independence is out of reach. Another challenge, building a global support network for airlines, Boeing and Airbus have decades of experience, Comac is starting from scratch. For international airlines, support and reliability are as important as the aircraft itself. The C929 will be the ultimate test, demanding even greater technological mastery. Success depends on convincing global airlines Comac can support long-haul fleets worldwide. The journey is long, but China's determination is formidable. The rise of Comac and the ambitious C929 project raises a profound question for the global aviation industry. Are we witnessing the birth of a new triopoly, or is the sector splintering into regional powerhouses shaped by shifting geopolitics and economic alliances? 
For decades, Boeing and Airbus have dominated the skies, their rivalry defining the very nature of commercial flight. Now, with China's entry, the landscape is changing in ways that were once unimaginable. The next 20 years will be a period of transformation and uncertainty. The era of predictable stability is over, replaced by a dynamic environment where new players and new technologies could reshape the rules of the game. Airlines, manufacturers, and even passengers will feel the effects of this seismic shift. Boeing and Airbus now face a formidable competitor. To maintain their leadership, they must not only innovate, but also adapt to a world where competition comes from unexpected places and where collaboration and rivalry are more intertwined than ever before. For the world, the C929 is more than just a new airplane. It stands as a symbol of China's growing technological prowess, its global ambitions, and the shifting balance of power in the 21st century. The outcome of the C929's journey will have consequences far beyond the aviation sector. Its success or failure could influence global trade patterns, diplomatic relationships, and the future of high-tech manufacturing. The emergence of the C929 demonstrates that new centers of industrial power are rising, challenging the established order and inspiring other nations to pursue their own aerospace dreams. As you board your next flight, consider the decades of ambition, rivalry, and innovation that have shaped the aircraft you're traveling on. Each jetliner is a testament to the relentless pursuit of progress and the ever-evolving story of human ingenuity. The story of the C929 is not just about a single aircraft, it's the next chapter in aviation's epic tale, where history, technology, and global ambition converge. The world is watching closely, waiting to see if this bold new challenger can truly take flight and redefine the future of aviation for generations to come.